each year, some 300,000 people in the United States contract Lyme disease. And according to the CDC, that number is on the rise. Early detection and treatment can help resolve symptoms and prevent progression of Lyme disease. However, there are still limitations with the current testing modalities that can often take up the valuable time needed for prompt treatment to occur. So here with all the information you need to know is Dr. Sean McCloy from the Integrative Health Center of Maine. Welcome, doctor. Thank you, Olga. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm glad you're here because, you know, we hear about Lyme disease. We kind of know it's, you know, it's a tick bite, but you know, define it for me. What is it? Sure. So Lyme disease is a, an infectious disease transmitted by a deer tick or other ticks as well. It's caused by a bacteria called Borrelia and it's a, it's a big problem in the U.S. And it's really small. We don't see them, do we? The ticks are, can be as small as a poppy seed and when they're full of blood they can be as big as a sesame seed. So they're pretty tiny sometimes. And when they bite us, which can be anywhere in our body, right? That's right. What happens? When they bite us, they, they need the blood to continue their life cycle and so these little bacteria and other infections live in their stomach and they pass across the saliva into our skin and cause infections in our body. And it can be serious it in many situations, serious. right? That's right. That's right. It can be quite serious. People end up in the hospital. There are some deaths associated. Fortunately, that's rare. The nice thing about Lyme disease is if you catch it early and treat it, it's a relatively easy infection to treat, but not everybody gets detected early. So when I think about, you know, Lyme disease and these ticks, I'm thinking more the northeast, wooded areas. I'm not really thinking South Florida. How prevalent is this? The endemic areas are the northeast, the middle of the country, but we see Lyme disease in all 50 states and actually all 12 months of the year as well. So when people are traveling around the country, they really should be aware of it and not think, oh, it's not here. That's right. It's important to know, you know what you're going to be running into when you travel to a different area. And when you come back and you get ill, your local physician may or may not be aware of those diseases. So important to educate yourself. So let's say, okay, let's educate ourselves. Let's say uh, one thinks that they have Lyme disease or they got bit by one of those ticks. What would be the signs and symptoms they have to be alert? Sure. Four. The classic signs and symptoms of Lyme disease happen within days to a week or two of the tick bite. And that includes kind of flu-like symptoms. So you get a little achy, fever, your joints might hurt a little bit, maybe a headache, fatigue, things like that. Some people, but not everybody, gets a rash called a bullseye rash or a target-shaped rash. But that happens uh, not, not every time with Lyme disease. A significant number of people who have Lyme disease never remember a tick bite and they never had a rash and they just get ill. So often times we miss those diagnoses. You mentioned earlier that 300,000 people a year get Lyme disease, right. but only about 30,000 people are actually diagnosed. So we're missing it That's... nine out of 10 times. All right, so how do you diagnose it? So Lyme is called a clinical diagnosis. What I mean by that is if you have a good story, you, you know you're bit by a tick or maybe you're going camping or going to somewhere where there's a lot of Lyme and you come back and you develop these symptoms, um, there's a checklist of 38 symptoms that will run down. If they have every single one of those symptoms and a good story, then they probably have Lyme disease. Okay. There is laboratory testing that we do as well. The CDC currently recommends what's called two-tier testing. What I mean by that is first we do a, a screening test called an ELISA. This is looking at your immune system's reaction against Lyme disease. If that is positive, we'll send off a confirming test called a Western blot, more information about that immune response. Okay, and how long does that take? This is the problem. So it's, it, it takes days to weeks for that first round, the first tier of the ELISA test to come back. And if that's positive, the CDC recommends setting off another round of testing, the hmm. Western blot, which can also take days to weeks, depending on how much lab you use. So you're losing a lot of time. You're still feeling terrible. And who knows what health effects are happening to you in terms of, you know, for the future, right? This is a big problem. Lyme is fortunately pretty easy to treat when you catch it early. But when you delay the diagnosis or you miss the diagnosis, it can become harder and harder and harder to, to diagnose and to treat. All right, which brings me then to this new test uh, that you have now that is faster, timelier, and gives you the results quicker. What are we talking about here? Yeah, I'm so excited this is now available. As a doctor, I'd love to have a tool in my practice that I can use to, to confirm that diagnosis. So there's a new test called a SOFIA-2 Lyme FIA assay, and it's basically that first round of testing I was talking about before, the ELISA test. Okay. The neat thing about this instrument is I can do a finger prick blood stick uh, for a patient and run that test in 15 minutes or less in my office. Oh my goodness. From days, weeks to 
15 minutes. That's right. It really, really makes a big difference for my patients and for myself as a doctor. So the bottom line is if anybody suspects they may have Lyme disease, they should go see their doctor and inquire about this test. That's right. Very valuable tool that I have in my office. Great information. Doctor, for our viewers who'd like more information on this new test, where do they go? They should go to Sophia2Lyme.com. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Truly well. appreciate it. Again, it's Sophia2Lyme.com, and that's Sophia, S O F I A, the number two lime.com or just check out our website and we'll take you there thebalancingact.com